Can you know, you drawing in some ways is considered one of maybe the most traditional medium. It has a limitation in terms of the fact that you're on a piece of paper usually. And it hasn't engaged the viewer other than usually on small scale. And, and drawings are always seen as something underneath the painting. So drawings have never been taken seriously. As a kid, you make a mark on a piece of paper or on the ground or on the wall or whatever. And it's been going on since, you know, Altamira and it's still going on. It'll probably always go on. Then you have to figure out that there are certain hand-me-downs that are inherited from the history of mark making. I think this is what every student does actually. You start marking on paper and you haven't found your own procedure, so you use the tools that everybody else uses, namely charcoal, if the student is cheap. After a point, what happens is those tools become a hindrance because they can only take you to a level of what's been made with those tools beforehand, or they can refine that process. It's called academic art making. And I think if you look at the history of drawing, the people who've probably made the greatest contributions have invented their own procedures. So what you try to do, and which is a hard one, is to clear away the clutter of what you've inherited from the tradition that you're working in, even though you know that you're just going to be another rock on the wall.